Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. Thank you so much for staying with me on the Bounder BB Show. My next guest is Dr. Eratusa Kirk. She's the Chief Medical Officer, United Healthcare Community Plan of Maryland. She's here to help us stay on top of our children's health during the pandemic. And she's got some tips that will help keep our babies safe. Dr. Kirk, welcome to the Bounder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. I've got some great questions that I'd love for you to answer and, and help my audience with and is, wants to know. So, okay, we know the pandemic is ruling our lives, but, you know, what are we supposed to be asking the doctor? Or are we supposed to ask him something differently now when we take the babies to the doctor? Well, it's a great question, and COVID-19 has certainly created upset for, for everyone in, in all manners and sectors. And one of the things that we're seeing is that children aren't getting in for their well child care, which is especially important for us to make sure that children that are infants, zero to 15 months and up to two years of age, um, are getting their immunizations and their well child care because we know that they can get behind in their immunizations so quickly. So one of the things that we really want to stress here is that you know, pediatricians and family practice providers would like to see your child in the clinic for your well child check and to ensure that you're getting your immunizations and screenings on time. Okay, so that's pretty routine for parents to ask those questions. I know they have questions and they, they put it on my social media boards. They've now got Questions, should my child be eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine? Could you speak on that a little bit? Sure. Um, I'll just start to say that the vaccine that's FDA approved is FDA approved for 16 and up. And beyond that, um, the AAP has asked for clinical trials and, and further investigation for children's uh, vaccination uh, for COVID-19. What I really want to stress here, though, is that there's so many vaccines that are already available for communicable diseases. And what we see in the data is that many children aren't getting their vaccines as they should. And this really prevents so many communicable diseases. And what's important in terms of empowerment for families right now is to make sure that their families are all up to date on their immunizations currently as we await okay. a COVID-19 vaccine for children. Okay. So the people that weighed in had real big questions for you, doctor. They say, what if they don't believe in vaccines? So where do they fall into this current situation? And not talking about the COVID, they just they haven't been doing vaccines, I'm thinking. Yeah, vaccine hesitancy and concerns are, are certainly an issue um, that needs to be taken very seriously. And um, to this, I would say that the medical home is the most important relationship. Having that relationship with your pediatrician or family practice provider, having open and honest conversations about the concerns so that you can have open and honest you know, conversations about how to allay those concerns in terms of vaccine hesitancy um, and issues, because really vaccines are proven to be the most effective way in which we can reduce infection, reduce communicable diseases, and so many of these diseases that we have vaccines available for. So pr prior to going to an appointment, what are some of the uh, points that uh, a believer in vaccine, what should they have on their mind? Because we're dealing with two camps from what I'm seeing. I'm not a medical professional. They have people who are really strong against vaccine and then I got people who are real bi big believers in vaccine. So the believers group. So when they go and see their doctor, what should they have in mind? Well, I would, I would say that for both groups, um, if we're going to be talking about um, the, creating that, that each group um, should have in mind really their questions about um, what their concerns are for their pediatrician and their family practice provider. At uhc.com backslash children's wellness, we've really outlined some questions that you may um, have from zero to 15 months. Uh, these are downloadable checklists that are easy for families to kind of use. Um, and it really goes through what we would be looking for as pediatricians and family practice providers for the developmental milestones of normally healthy growing um, infants and the questions that you may have along the way. And that can help. I want to thank you. you so very much for that because I believe this is a critical time. People are going to have to 
make up their mind where they stand and what they're going to do. Dr. Kirk, I want to thank you so much for coming to the Valder BB Show to try and help my parents make those life-changing decisions. Thanks for being my guest. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.